Hey you guys, what's up? Um, this isn't like my normal filming area obviously, but I'm just gonna do like just a little vlog today. It's a little after four. You could probably see all my stuff back there, but nothing crazy, nothing special, just kind of like a bullshit type of video. Um, but there's a few things that I just wanna touch base on and I'm really lately I haven't had time to just sit down and film an actual video whether it be like a makeup tutorial chit chat get ready with me type of video or anything like that so I'm just gonna do it in this little vlog I'm actually about to make some soup right now so I'll show you guys how I make that and after that I think I'm gonna be wrapping some gifts um maybe doing some laundry I'm just kind of catching you guys up on what's been going on a little bit um part of that is we're moving soon the house is on the market as we speak, which I have a little random story to tell you guys about what happened yesterday with the realtor and stuff. But besides that, it's on the market. I do plan on doing a how like a furnished house tour slash empty house tour once we, you know, once I start packing and right before I start packing type of thing. I should have already started packing, but I've just been like overwhelmed with the thought of just like packing everything up i really need to get on it though with my mommy videos because i want this channel to be like a variety of things with hauls of different sorts what else makeup and mommy videos um i do plan on filming my labor and delivery experience soon i don't know when um i'm hoping towards the end of december early january um, I just need some time to just sit down and dedicate a whole day to filming that. I feel like it's going to be a lengthy video. Maybe not so much when I edit it, but as I'm filming it, trying to remember things. So I just want to dedicate like a day to that. Maybe be, maybe I'll film another video along with it. But I just feel like that's just a whole planning day's worth of content. And right now I just don't have that time. You probably heard about, at least if you watched like my last 10 videos i'm sure you heard somewhere in there that we were renovating well now it's pretty much done and now we're selling so you'll probably hear about that in the next few videos if i have time to make them anyway yeah i'm about to make some potato soup we'll chit chat a little bit and you'll just see i guess what i'm doing the rest of the evening i'm making potato soup it's actually pinterest recipes so i'll link the recipe down below but until then if you want to see me prepare it and stuff then i guess just keep watching We just listed the house on the market. It's had a few people want to come see it, but not many. The realtor said with the holidays, it's probably not going to be as many until after, so not to panic. But anyway, what I what I mentioned earlier, though, like just a little weird thing that happened yesterday. Not so much with the realtor, but I get a call yesterday at 11 a.m. and it was our realtor, and he said that he had an agent that wanted to do a showing at 4 p.m. yesterday. He gave me some instructions and then he said, you know, just I'll let you know as soon as possible when they leave. So I was like, all right. So it was about 2 p.m. when I had gotten my stuff, my son's stuff together and we just decided to just go and see my mom and my dad and just hang out over there. Maybe this is creepy and weird, but I had peri periodically throughout the day been checking the camera um, also, partly, mostly, because we still have, like, a lot of our stuff in the house. It's basically fully furnished. Like, I have, we have not really moved anything out other than some boxes up in the attic. So, I am, like, paranoid about somebody coming in and stealing. I don't want to assume that about anybody, but you just never know. And I'm just, I'm paranoid about it. So, I was watching the camera throughout the day, <clears throat> especially around 4 p.m. when they were supposed to come. 4 p.m. came around and I watched it for about two or three minutes, no, no activity. I checked back about 4.45, still no activity because also like the way my camera works is when there's activity, it will alert the app and I'll be notified. So yeah, I hadn't got any notifications about any activity. So I checked it at 4.45, nobody was here. So I give it another, you know, 20, 30 minutes, check it again. 
still no activity no activity since we left at two so we left my parents house we came home oh and also in that time it was about like 5 15 i messaged a realtor i was like did they show up did they leave like what's going on he was like the agent said that they just left so i was like okay so um shortly after i go home and i don't know just something about the whole situation just felt weird whenever i pulled in last night the gate was exactly how i left it and i don't know it was just really weird so i don't think they showed up at all um or if they did i don't know if maybe the gate deterred them and they just looked at, at the outside of the house but nobody came in the house nobody came on the property again my gate was exactly how i left it it was just weird that's weird i don't think they came my camera had no activity like what would they do exactly but i haven't heard from him and i just don't want to bug him with something like that unless he you know talks to me first i do plan on filming more makeup tutorials soon chit chat videos there are some videos like i said i want to film in this house before we leave like my furnished and empty house tour oh i just wanted to like give a little shout out to this girl who's been so sweet to me um in one of my next videos which will probably be the ColourPop haul because i bought some ColourPop makeup last month and again i just haven't had time to film sit down and just film where i was going with that though is in the haul i'm going to also show this little cute beauty box that my little friend Dee Dee on youtube i'll link her channel down below she's so sweet she sent me just a cute little makeup box it just has some random makeup products in there but i'm so grateful that was just so sweet of her it's just nice to have just like little youtube friends and just people that you know know what it's like to put out content and know the struggle of you know you put a lot of work into your your content and it either doesn't do well or i don't know it just it can get stressful sometimes and discouraging depending on you know just each person and their their intent and their goals for their channel she's just been so supportive and so sweet and she's reached out and i don't know i just really appreciate that so i just want to shout her out her channel i believe is called dd's Dee beauty channel i'll list the name like across the screen across the screen but i'll link her channel down below she's so sweet so definitely check her out her videos she does like awesome dollar tree haul videos my dollar tree i just went recently and they don't have anything anywhere close to what she hauls which sucks so they're hit and miss dollar trees i guess but she does awesome dollar tree hauls um ulta hauls makeup videos like things like that so i don't know you should really go check her out tell her caitlin sent you if you do anyway so yeah i'm going to start my potato soup and i'll tell you everything you need in a second okay so for the potato soup as of right now we just need two pounds of peeled potatoes we need four cups of veggie broth one medium yellow onion diced mine i only had a little bit of onion left i didn't have another onion so that's all i get for my soup today and four cloves of min minced garlic i'm using the that one because i don't have fresh cloves so i'm gonna throw all this in the crock pot and then whenever you turn on your crock pot you can cook on higher for three to four hours or low for about six hours i do higher some gifts it's not many but i have some pro pillows honestly i thought i thought i was gonna like open these but i don't think so i think i'm just gonna leave them in the package 
But in here, this is for somebody who loves The Nightmare Before Christmas, from my understanding. So, I got them these shams. Is that what you call them? Pillow covers, that's right. These pillow covers, I think they're really cute. I'll just let her wash them. That's her gift, another part of her gift. I was able to get some of the Nightmare Before Christmas collection. These are so cute and it's an ornament. Like how stinging cute is that? I was able to get her the palette. I wanted the whole collection because it went from like 150 down to like, shoot, I think it was like $55. It was something crazy like that. There was a big like jump from what it was to what it was on sale. But I was not able to get it because um, some of it I did want for myself. Not necessarily the palette. I feel like I would want the palette more for the packaging than the colors. But if they release this again next year, I might pick it up for me. But it just wasn't a collection that I was just super crazy about. So another thing I got her was this bowl. I do kind of wish it was ceramic or glass. It's plastic. I didn't read the. I do not read the description very well, but. Um, I have her this, and then there's one more thing I have her. Some of my gifts are missing. I have no idea where they're at. But I had her some Nightmare Before Christmas spatulas. I'm hoping that, I really don't know where they're at. I thought they were in my closet. So I might as well just take these out. The packaging on this is so cute. And I was gonna stick the spatulas in here too. Up. like this that's cute maybe i'll just i don't know i don't know about spatulas that's gonna bother me because that's somebody else has a gift in there too anyway i actually got their son oh it's her son um apparently he loves pokemon so i found him this pokemon watch found that and then for her daughter i got her this washable makeup kit so Oh, that fits perfect, okay. I hope this isn't. You hear that? Hope it's not broken. So a good tip is where to get like bows and the gift tags and gift bags. Like some of the prettiest gift bags I've found have been at Dollar Tree. They're always a dollar. I always get the, I think it's like three pack or two pack of scotch tape. That's where I always get my tape for, especially for wrapping presents. So a little tip for those that didn't know, but they have the prettiest bags and gift tags. Oh, it's so cute, I love Santa. I can show you real quick what some people got my son. This was gifted to him. I will say I'm not the biggest fan on camo. It has little ears though, but this is pretty cute and it's warm. So I know, you know, it'll keep him warm for the rest of the winter. They also got him this, which it's so cute. They also got him this outfit, which I told them it was gonna be a little big, but they still went ahead and got him anyway. But it is my first Christmas at six to nine months. He's in three to six. Um, I might use this for a photo, but he'll have to wear it after Christmas just because like, it, it's so big. The hat is so cute and soft. Matching pants, it is adorable. So then, this is what I got him, but I have to take the tag off and wash it now. So I got him this Zach and Zoe. These are from Ross, by the way. So it's this super warm fuzzy pajamas. Has It's a footed onesie. Um, and it has like sheep and the moon and clouds. So cute. It's just like little, little trucks, fire trucks. Very Christmassy. 
This is my favorite. It's the little Tigger outfit. The pants are too cute. Yeah, he has to wear this stuff like now. This is nice and warm. And then I got him this one. I think he might, he doesn't have to start wearing it immediately, but pretty soon. It's Converse, it's newborn six months. I'm confused, NB six months, I don't know. But it says Converse. But yeah, so now we're gonna finish our potato soup. So I need four tablespoons of butter. And that's a lot, but what are you gonna do? Okay, I'm gonna let that kind of simmer down and melt. Okay, next you're gonna add two cups of milk. Now it says in the recipe to add your flour first, but I find that if I add my flour before the milk and I try to whisk it in with the butter, it gets clumpy. So I add it after. It'll be a fourth a cup of all-purpose flour. I'm just gonna stir this in. So I'm gonna, just gonna use the same measuring cup. to do it this way let's get a little bit thicker so then i'm just going to whisk it in maybe just because it's a little bit more liquidy than just doing it with the butter but it, it doesn't come out clumpy at all when i do it in here and over time it'll thicken just keep whisking it in just to make sure there aren't any clumps it thickens up pretty quickly and you'll see that in a minute See, it's already getting like thick kind of like a gravy type consistency Let's see just keep whisking it a little bit okay, you could turn off the burner I think that's pretty good for me Okay, so next is about half a cup of sour cream. I'm just going to use the spoon that I used earlier. Do two big spoonfuls. So I'm going to go ahead and stir this in. It looks messy, but I promise it will come together. It smells good okay next we're gonna add our salt and pepper so you can add your desired amount but for the recipe it's one teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of black pepper but we're just gonna add this much and then just add that much of salt i don't really like when it comes to stuff like that to me it's just preference um i know my husband likes a lot of pepper in his Just enough to where like that looks like a lot but once you stir it in like it it mixes in and you can't really tell like the, the flakes you can't really tell especially at the top that there's that much pepper in it but it smells so good and then i'm gonna add cheese he doesn't like it when i add cheese but i'm gonna add cheese to this one this time according to the recipe it's a cup of cheddar cheese shredded I have the Great Value Sharp Cheddar from Walmart. I'm just going to add to my liking. I'm not, I'm not going to go specifically by that. So I'm excited about that much for now. And we will mix that in. Oops, I'm like splashing this stuff over there. Okay. 
Oh, and I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, but I have a four quart crock pot. That is the potato soup recipe. I'm hungry, so I'm gonna eat and I'll be back. Okay, so it's actually been two days now. Um, I know I said I was gonna come back the other night, but yeah, it was late, it was like 10 something. Um, whenever I finished, it was like 9, 30, 10 when I finished my potato soup, which is kind of late, but um, anyway, I'm about to do my Christmas cards. They just came in a day. I'm watching something at the moment. That's what that wishy noise is. I'm going to make those out. And while I do, I'll try to talk. I'm not really good at multitasking, but. And these stamps I just ordered off of USPS.com. I think it was, yeah, United States Postal Service. They're really cute. They didn't have many to choose from though. Um, I will say over the last few years, I've been kind of disappointed with the Christmas stamps. I swear they used to have like really good ones. Um, a few years ago, I remember they had like Santa's actual face, like a cute picture of Santa's face on it. They don't anymore. It was not much to choose from. So, and I didn't go to my local post, post office because usually they don't have anything either. That's where I went last year. So I still can't find my Christmas gifts that I lost. So I cleaned out my closet yesterday. I have to do my husband's tonight. Um, I moved some boxes over to our storage area and I went through some of the boxes that were already put into storage. The gift was not in there. I went through my whole closet yesterday. It's literally so empty now. Like all that's left are the clothes and a few things I'm giving away. I cannot find it. I'm hoping it's either my husband's closet or the baby's closet, but I don't, absolutely do not remember putting it in the baby's closet, so I don't know where else it would be. So I don't know. Anyway, so I've also been working on my son's baby book. I'm really excited about that. Um, I just went ahead and just started filling out. All I have to really do right now is just print off pictures, but for the most part, I have the baby portion, like the first like three months of his life done. So I'm really happy about that. My son's Christmas gifts came in. I'll show you guys here shortly. Yeah, tomorrow's Saturday the 18th and we have somebody coming to look at the house at 9 a.m. I remember, which I don't know if I said this already in the video, but I do remember the realtors were saying that during the holidays it's gonna be slow, so don't worry. But they're pretty sure that our house is gonna go quickly after the holidays. I might just go ahead and finish this and I'll be back. Maybe whenever I'm going through stuff and then we will chit chat some more or something. So I'll be back. I want to show you the thing I was talking about that I got my son. It's this Fisher Price premium sit me up floor seat. Um, it's, it's an owl, I guess, an owl seat. And it just has toys that he could play with on the front. It helps him sit up. It, his butt is flat on the floor so his um, feet aren't dangling. I think it was 63 bucks. I'll link it down below if you're interested. And then I got him this Mickey toy. You can like hang it from the car seat. Just wherever you can hang stuff. It has like little things he can pick up. Another little thing he can pick up. Um... Any rattles. He makes this little jingly noise. It's so cute. He has a Pooh Bear one. Where is it? He has this little Pooh Bear one that he that we got at our baby shower. So I think it's really cute. It says Rumbly My Tumbly. It has these little things that they can play with. So also I ordered these little Grinch signs, and I'm not gonna lie, they're cute, but I thought they were bigger than this. Like this is Hang on. This is the size of my hand. I have a small hand. And it's pretty much almost as long as my hand. I thought they were bigger. <laughs> that just, I guess that's what I get for not reading the description. Look at this Santa my in-law got me. So I love decorating for Christmas. This year, I did not really get to. I only have a few ornaments on the tree just because I'm gonna have to pack it up in a few weeks anyway. But yeah, she got this at Dollar General. I think he's so pretty. This is my tree this year. So I didn't get to do much decorating. Just a few ornaments. Then my Merry Christmas tree skirt. 
Here's our stockings. What else? Here are my throw pillows right here. This is the season to sparkle. Got those from Big Lots. And I have this Be Merry sign. And there are my lamps. Here's my kitty's house. Yeah, so. And then I only have three of my nutcrackers up. I have like, I swear I have like 10, but it's because we're just gonna be taking them down soon. That tree star up there is really heavy. Like it keeps tilting on that tree. There's no plugging on this wall, which sucks. So I'm not able to plug that tree in unless I run it into the bedroom. I have to go through this today, tonight actually, and then I have to clean the house because they're coming tomorrow morning. So I think I'm going to do this right now. I'll clean after and maybe we'll check back in. Hey you guys, so I found my gifts the other day. Um, they're actually in... I was gonna say the basement. I don't have a basement. They were in the garage. I put them in a stupid spot that I completely forgot about. I don't even remember putting them in the container and putting them in the garage. But whatever, I, I found them. So I found some little bags too in my Christmas box. I have to go through my bags because some of them in my wrapping paper. I think I mentioned that the other day, but some of them I just have so many, and some of the wrapping paper is just so cheap. I don't know. I just feel like I'm not gonna use it. And there's no point of it sitting there, so I think I'll just give it away to our local donation place. But <sighs> I'm tired. But anyway, so I have some little bags. I have some more gifts there. I was able to get my loofahs, and I'll show you guys the gift combination in a minute. We have a gift card, and whenever I got this gift card, it came with this. Install the Redbox app on your device, and you get one free movie night. This was for one of the gifts that I, I could not find. This, um, here's the Nightmare Before Christmas spatulas I was talking about. And then these Hocus Pocus ones, I'm gonna keep, but they're so cute. These will just be for display, I'm not gonna cook with them. They were so cheap, they're like $5.99, so that's awesome. But this, along with this mango chapstick, this candle, it says, sand and paws it has little paw prints on it it smells really good and this like leaf necklace and i actually have something else to give her but she really likes this kind of stuff so that's a gift i had some stuff come in from walmart today oh and this nail polish this nail polish suits her and it kind of matches the candle then this i got for my older sister's boyfriend's son it's just a minecraft I was gonna say castle Lego set. I got my sister's boyfriend this candle. I got this from Walmart. It's salted coconut mahogany. It's it's kind of like a musky cologne smell. I think this is like 11 bucks, but it's like sturdy, it's heavy, thick glass. So that's really nice. And then I will, oops, I'll show you what I got in my Walmart bag. So this is kind of funny, but the one that I'm giving the uh, paw print candle too and just a little knickknacks i'm giving her pet treats she has like eight dogs and she has two cat no she has like four cats but anyway i have some cat treats on coming on the way it's like kind of random but this is all stuff that she really likes so i'm excited to see her reaction and i know having like pets isn't cheap especially when it comes to feeding them sometimes this has the body wash in it for men that go with the loofahs. And then the baby dolls came in for these little girls that we're giving these to. Oh, man, these are cute, I really love that. It's like a baby doll, it has like a passy, yeah, a passy, a bottle, and a unicorn. And these were 10 bucks. But anyway, we're gonna wrap some gifts and I don't know if I really have anything to talk about um the house was shown well actually i can talk as i wrap so hang on a minute so our house was shown the other day and um i did look on the camera just to kind of make sure you know nothing 
because I don't want to be mean, but I just, I'm paranoid that stuff's going to be taken because we still have stuff in the house right now. Anyway, the house was shown and from my understanding that people like it i'm like anxious for it to sell but at the same time i feel like once it does go to sell i'm gonna be so stressed out and just i don't know kind of sad in a way because this is our first home that we were able to buy and while i'm like ready for a fresh start i don't know, I don't know it's just sad it's just kind of sad that we're moving on like this is a chapter that's coming to an end and I am so stoked, don't get me wrong, to just see where we end up next. But, I don't know, it's just, at the same time, it's just a little sad. So today when I'm filming, it's like, it's the 19th, which is just crazy. Like, literally six more days till Christmas. I can't believe it. It's just going by so fast. This year's just going by, especially after I had my son. Like, in January, January 14th will be it'll be a year from when i found out that i was pregnant and it's just i don't know it makes me kind of sad like that's one of the moments like in 2021 it's one of the few moments that i just wish i can go back and just relive that 2021 was just just a hectic year almost it, like i'm it was a very good year it's probably one of my favorite years Especially as far as, you know, finding out I was pregnant and we had our son. But it was just also, like, in a way, just a very overwhelming and just hectic year. Between renovating and now selling and, you know, baby. My grandmother died in May of this year. Um, her first name is actually mine and my son's middle name. And before she passed like i already knew that i wanted my son to have her middle name or her first name and yeah i don't know just just a lot happened this year i can't wait to start doing christmas traditions with my son and watching christmas movies i grew up with my dad watching just various christmas movies from rudolph to santa claus is coming to town to the old Grinch, just like all those kinds of movies, Frosty the Snowman. That was one of my favorite parts growing up, was that my dad would always watch these movies with my sisters and I. And I don't know, it's just something I want to do with my son. So are any of you guys Harry Potter fans? If so, have you seen where January 1st they're having like Harry Potter, I don't know if you call it marathon, but it's where like the original cast come together and I believe they talk about just like reminisce almost about the movie. I'm really excited. I want to watch it. It's probably one of my favorite things growing up. I used to be, um, I'm going to tell you guys a story. So I used to be a very naive kid. Like you can tell me anything and I'd believe it. And I had this friend who honestly looking back, it wasn't a very nice thing for her to do. Like I just looking back, it was kind of mean. I feel like she laughed at me about it behind my back, but whatever. Anyway, so I had this friend who I used to actually go to church with, church with her too. And we were friends from like first grade or second grade up to fifth grade. I wasn't a mean kid, but I could be a brat sometimes. I'm not going to lie. But I was also a very sensitive girl. So every time, like just every little thing would hurt my feelings. We both though loved Harry Potter. And I think this was in like third grade. So anyway, she used to come over and I don't know, we just somehow ended up getting on the thing of Harry Potter. And every time she would stay the night, we ended up waking up to notes from Harry Potter. They were like little notes and they were always signed Harry Potter. I think we would write a letter to him and then we'd wake up and there would be a note the next morning where we left the note we gave him. It just made me so excited. I think I would tell my mom too and she'd just be like, oh, that's awesome. And like, I just had no clue. And then one morning, maybe after like the fifth or sixth note that we had written and gotten from him, it was maybe like, it was early one morning. And I just remember I was turning over in bed and my friend wasn't laying in bed next to me. And I just remember I looked over and she was, like writing something and I didn't really think anything of it and I think she hid whatever she was writing and just kind of played it off and I just fell back asleep well we woke up 
and I saw the note and I got excited from it but then I got to think I was like was this you and she started laughing she's like yeah and I just felt like so not really stupid but I was just sad I was like oh this wasn't even like real like I didn't even get not even that it was like a joke but I just looking back out on it now I just feel kind of sad for myself just how naive I was and to just pull an easy one on me like that's just how gullible I was when it came to things and I don't know I just feel like sad for my younger self just how let people walk all over me and just kind of like I was the joke and people were laughing behind my back that's how it feels now looking back she probably went and told people and they left about it you know like laughed at me about it behind my back and I just feel sad for myself because I, I was just so happy you guys have no idea how happy I was when that would happen and then just to find out that it wasn't even real just how sad I was another time that same person we were in I think this was the fifth grade and there was a girl we used to go to church with who moved away to another part of Tennessee and on each other's own like if I was hanging out with one like we would be fine but when it was all three of us they would kind of leave me out and kind of not bully me but they were just like not very nice to me together but whenever it was like one-on-one -on -one, like I would be with her or be with the other girl we were fine if they weren't around each other but anyway like sometimes they would just straight up ignore me or in front of me we'd be sitting there in um not in mass but in the hall where after mass we would go and eat and they would like in front of me just talk about oh you want to come over to my house you want to come over to my house like not even include me and i never went over to the one girl's house but my friend who wrote the harry potter note i would we would go to each other's houses a lot plus we went to school together and like i was just never included though and that just it always made me sad like that's what i'm talking about like again i could be a little brat but i don't know i was just an easy target to be picked on too and just and, and also again didn't like realize you know when somebody was like intentionally being mean or intentionally like just leaving me out like i would be sad that they were doing this in front of me but i didn't realize like just how i guess sorry it was of them to do that to me i was just kind of sad i'm just kind of be like just sitting there but anyway there's just this one day where the girl had moved away and my friend who wrote the note we were all at church together because the one girl who moved away came to visit and we were outside and we were hanging out by somebody's car oh i think because the girl got her parents got a new car big suv or something we were out there by like looking at it or something and she brought up the term like nerd and she said that she had some nerd glasses and she put them on and i don't know they're really cute and stuff and we just kind of laughed about it well my friend who wrote the harry potter note wore glasses to school but she would never wear them like outside of school for some reason and I don't know she I just remember in school she would refer to them as her nerd glasses and again I think this was fifth grade while we were talking about the girl who moved away is nerd glasses I just brought up like hey so and so you know like why don't you ever wear your nerd glasses remember how you have nerd glasses that you wear to school and she looked at me so dead straight and she goes no and I just I kind of stopped smiling and it was kind of like at that point I realized like oh like she's not I don't know like it, it just wasn't very nice it was a moment like that that made me realize like oh like that wasn't very nice just they weren't always nice girls and just how like I I didn't fit in I guess is the word I'm looking for just that in that moment it just kind of hit me like oh me and this girl aren't really like friends and I don't really fit in this is a whole other tangent but like part of the reason why I don't ask people to hang out or talk much or try to make new friends kind of stems back to that moment just like I don't like rejection and I feel like that moment in fifth grade played a lot into why I am part of the way now as far as like just anything that could possibly get me rejected from you know whether it's being told no or we don't have this or just anything to do with rejection I feel like that moment kind of stemmed or kind of just set the tone for like how I was the rest of up until now of how I am it's just just you should have seen her face and just just felt what I felt just realizing I don't fit in she's not really my friend just how like people aren't always who you think they are shortly after that we just stopped being friends and we're cordial I guess now I don't know just 
that moment just made me realize like I don't like rejection and it just it just made me feel just a whole other type of way towards just having friends and having her as a friend and just it just set in perspective for me like she isn't really your friend I don't know it makes sense in my head I don't use the word friend lightly it just takes a lot for me to call somebody a true friend and then again going back to the Harry Potter notes and just how she talked to me that day it just put into perspective how people can just really be sneaky I guess is a word to you to go towards that but I don't know I just I just haven't had luck with friends I don't have many story times I'm just not like one of those people that just things happen to you that's not me at all I never had luck with friends so you know I don't say that to like be pitied or anything you know it is what it is I'm I'm more of a introvert anyway and I just prefer like my alone time and to be by myself but just once in a while just I don't know it just it'd be nice to have like that friend that you can just see and hang out with once in a while I'm so excited to start our own traditions and things there's like traditions i want to do but at the same time i just feel like everyone does them and while i don't want to be like everyone else i just i kind of envy just how cute they are like the pumpkin patch thing i've never been to a well i tell you that back. i've been to one pumpkin patch when i was younger and i want to do that with my husband and our son but I feel like that's just such like an Instagram move. Like you see all those parents and stuff on Instagram that go and have like those cute family pictures. And it's almost like so staged. But it's just, I don't know, at the same time it's just cute. And it's just something to look back on. And just have that memory. So I don't know. I'm actually about to stamp one of my letters and do another one. You ever have days when your handwriting's like really good? And then other times it's so bad. Yeah, that's me. I guess I'm just gonna end the video here, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, you know, happy new year, and I will see you guys really soon. So bye.